page whenever you're ready. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. The Board of Liquor License Commissioners for Baltimore City proceedings will begin. The Board is now in session. If you're in possession of any type of electronic device, please place said device on the off or silent mode during proceedings. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, preliminary matters on the AM docket. Case number 13300, Clipper Mill Road, postponed. Case number 22229, North Charles Street, postponed. Number 3, AM docket, Jerry's Liquors, 2200, North Charles Street, Class A, Beer, Wine, and Liquor, an application to transfer ownership. Please come forward. Council, you want to identify yourself for the record, please? For the record, Your Honor, Frank Lewis on behalf of the applicants. Good morning. Gentlemen, would you raise your right hands, please? Raise your right hands. Do you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Mr. Loser. Mr. Chairman, thank you. As you know by the uh, application, so it's transfer uh, 2200 North Charles Street. This is, uh, if you know very well, right over the bridge, right at the University of Baltimore right there, just over into the uh, Charles Village neighborhood. Uh, it's been a liquor store as long as I've been around, probably a lot longer than that. Uh, the application itself is for uh, basically to maintain ownership and transfer. The uh, current owners are selling, getting uh, older in a certain sense, looking to move out. My clients know the neighborhood, talk to everyone, everything's going to run just the same way it was before. President is Mr. Yogesh Prasai and Mr. Cleves. Mr. Cleves is also a resident of Baltimore City, has been for two years, a uh, resident of uh, Weldon Avenue in the uh, Hamden neighborhood. Is that correct, Mr. Cleves? And I've had a chance to discuss with both of you gentlemen um, the rules and regulations regarding the sale of alcoholic beverages in Baltimore City in the state of Maryland. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Speak up for the record, please. Uh, Mr. Pleads, are you going to be running the establishment? I'm sorry, it's Mr. Versailles. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yes. So are you, can you come up to the microphone, please, and state your name? Uh, Yogesh Kumar Versailles. Can you spell it for the gentleman down here to my left? Y O G E S H. Middle name K U M A R and last name is P R A S A I. And are you going to be uh, um, managing the Jerry's Liquors? Yes. Well, we got not Jerry's Liquors, sir. No. Oh, what is it <laughs> going to be called? It, it, it's North Charles Street Liquors, 2200 North Charles Street. Okay. I think Jerry's is actually later on the docket. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, uh, we mean it's different Jerry's, but I mean it's. I'm sorry, this is. 22. Hundred North Trading Crawl. as Jerry's, but it's different Jerry's. The, I thought you were talking, uh, calling it different Jerry's in the docket. You're correct, Mr. Chairman. That's okay. You're correct, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Don't try to confuse me. Okay? Right here, Jerry's liquors. I think right down the street from the house. Correct, so, <laughs> <Mr>. <laughs> so um, Mr. Brassai, are you going to be managing this liquor store? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, and uh, do you have any experience in doing that? Uh, no, this would be, be my first experience. Okay. And are you going to be assisted by anyone? Uh, uh, right now, none. So it's just going to be you. Right. And how are you going to learn this business? Uh, uh, through, <laughs> through, through my friend, like. Uh, this gentleman uh, here? So, you know, right. Why don't you tell the chairman, his mm -hmm. honor, what you've done before in your work experience to this date. You've worked in other liquor stores, is that correct? Right. You know, I, I have worked. Why don't you tell yeah. his honor about that? Right. Uh, but not as an honor. Uh, but you've worked in them. How right. long have you had that experience? Uh, more than six months. Okay. Okay. And uh, before that, what were you doing? Uh, I, I, I'm right now working at, in computer field. In the carpenter field? No, computer. Computer. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, and so you're going to do everything. You're going to be the operator. You're going to manage. You're going to do the sales. You're going to do all of that. Right. Keep all the records? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's had all the rules and regulations explained to him about that? We filed this back on, I checked, February 26th. We've been through it many, many, many times in meetings in my office. Has he been tap, uh, TIP certified yet? He has, Your Honor. Okay. So you've got the training. Right. Okay. Um, go ahead. Any, I'm not clear on this, any employees, any other employees? Uh, I will be having more, but as of now, I haven't decided yet. Of course, I'll have be having more. Okay. Like, I cannot work, like, all the time. So how many do you have a sense of how many uh, employees I'll have like uh, two to three uh, it would be three I think what you're trying to explain is right now it's uh -huh. a business operating from the ground and that's it but if you need more of course they'll be TAM certified or managerially certified by the board 
and they'll come. But right now, it's just you, and that's it. It's a right. business from the ground. Yes. Okay. Actually, you have any questions? And what's the size of this establishment? It's fairly small. It appears on the drawing. It's it's if I can speak for the applicant, it's it, it's maybe square footage in terms of retail space, maybe twelve hundred square feet, thousand square feet. So it's not a huge. It's it's. It, Mr. Griffith, as you know, it's if you go north on Charles Street, it, the sign is rather conspicuous. It's, it's, it's right there. It's a big white sign that goes all the way across the building, just as you cross the bridge uh, north of Mercy Baltimore right there. And it's, it, it occupies the south, well, it occupies the northeast, northwest corner, but it's just one side of the building, and that's it. All right, thank you. But is it near the Charles Theater? It's north of there, about two blocks north of there, in fact. Cross Street would be 21st or 22nd. Yeah, I, well, I got that impression, but he kept saying it was right, right. over the bridge. 22nd so Street. Just over the bridge. I mean, not, 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 <laughs> not, not, not in the theater district, of course, but I mean, we would love to be Street. there, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> 22nd Street. And uh, any interaction with the community? Doesn't sound like this is. Mr. Versailles had a, a meeting with community informally about it, and they said everything's going to be fine oh. as long as you can run it the same way. And that was okay. it. And I, as an officer of the court, I can say I had communications as well. Which community is it? Uh, it was the Charles Village Community Association. The only comment I'd make is, Mr. Persai, um, this is a new endeavor. Um, you've been at it for six months. Uh, you still live in Crofton, so there's a little bit of distance. Is that right? right? Yes. So you have a lot on your on your shoulders here, and I hope you're up to the task. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Nothing else for me. All right, thank you. On the basis then of the materials contained in the application, the proffers from council and the testimony received, I vote to approve the transfer. I concur and vote to approve the transfer. I vote to approve the transfer. Mr. Chairman, if I don't see you, have a nice rest of the summer. Thank, thank you, Mr. Green. Good luck, you. Mr. Well, thank you as well. Thank you. No, as it is. You're welcome. Flight 5721-23, York Road. This is a Class B, beer, wine, and liquor license. An application to transfer ownership with continuation of outdoor table service, requesting off-premise catering and delivery of alcoholic beverages. Please come forward. Do we have service on these uh, people? Yes. We do. Um, do you want to hold it till the end of the docket, just in case they show up. Sure, Mr. Chairman. We'll take the next case. Okay. Yeah. Going. Case number five I'm on sorry, the AM docket. I didn't hear what you said, sir. He stood up. I just was able to no. hear him. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> case number five, the preserve at St. Clair, 3425 St. Clair Lane, Class B, beer, wine, and liquor license, an application to transfer ownership with continuation of live entertainment requesting off-premise catering. Please come forward. Could you raise your right hand, sir, please. Do you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. And your name, sir? My name is Floyd E. Talia Farrell IV. Um, good morning. So good morning, uh, you morning. want to uh, uh, take this license. Who, who's selling the license? Uh, Charmaine Naughty. I believe it might have been under um, the hideaway. Okay. At Sinclair. And how long have they been there, do you know? Um, she's probably been in that building maybe five years or so. Okay. And had, what's your experience, sir? My experience? Um, well, I've done events. I've been a part of, uh, worked in some catering aspects. Um, and in involving this, that would be roughly my experience. I have experience involved doing events and renting event space and then also working with caterers, et cetera. So, but you're gonna run a restaurant? No, it's not, it's not a restaurant. It's actually an event space oh, okay. that has the liquor license attached to it so that they can provide liquor for events, et cetera. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. And are you going to have, uh, as my commissioner friend here asked the last gentleman, are you gonna have employees working with you? Yes, yeah, so we, will, we will probably have roughly three to five staff for the whole event space um, involving, I mean, including the caterers that um, who have the certifications, et cetera, that are needed. And ha have you been certified to uh, yes, deal sir, with I alcohol? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, and do you, uh, how long have you been working in this field? Um, I've, 
maybe 10 years or so. Okay. Um, and I'll anticipate the other question. Have you had any communication with the community there? Yes, the urban uh, community. We've, uh, we've talked to the neighbors right next door. It's a behavioral health organization. We've also reached out and talked to the leadership at Curley to let them know that, I mean, Archbishop Curley, mm -hmm. to let them know that the building, um, I have purchased the building myself, that the building is now under new ownership and that um, they've had events at that space um, for, you know, um, teacher um, orientations and so forth that the schools had to let them know that that space will be available still for them to use um, for their meetings, et cetera. Okay. Uh, what um, I, I'm not familiar. What type of live entertainment do you anticipate will happen um, there? Or probably events? a live, maybe a live band for events, mm -hmm. and or maybe a DJ. Okay. But it's it's just an event space. People, she's held weddings there, conferences, okay. and so forth. So. Okay. And you're not in a. I mean, it, the bands shouldn't disturb the larger community because you're oh, sort of no. tucked away a little bit. Very right? much so. It's okay. it's most people. It's, they called the location the hideaway. Most people, it's in the back. It's, it's very tucked away. You, from the street, you don't even, you can't even see it at all. You have that name sort of that it gets pronounced different ways. Have you ever heard your Tolliver? Yeah. Yes, at <laughs> University of <laughs> is Maryland. That just a Maryland thing. I think so, but our name is definitely from Northern Italy, and it um, means steel cutter. So, uh, yeah, um, I, but yeah. I would pronounce it Taliaferro as well, but I had a law clerk named that, and people used to call her Miss. <laughs> right, yes, I've heard uh, that a lot, a lot, yes. Okay, uh, questions? No further questions. No further questions. All right, thank you. Then on the basis of the materials contained in the application and the testimony received, I would vote to approve the transfer of this license with continued live entertainment and off-premise catering. I concur and vote to approve uh, the transfer of this license with continuation of live entertainment and off-premise catering. I vote to approve the transfer with the continuation of live entertainment and off-premise catering. Good luck. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Thank you, board. I appreciate it. No exhibits? <coughs> Harford Road Liquors, 4627 Harford Road, Class A, Beer, Wine, and Liquor License. An application to transfer ownership requesting delivery of alcoholic beverages. Please come forward. Council. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Commissioners, Mr. Chairman, uh, JU representing the applicants. Good morning. Would you folks raise your right hands, please? Uh, you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Mr. Yu. Chairman, um, I have a preliminary. Um, it's, it's generally, it is my practice to have all the applicants present for the hearing, but unfortunately at this time, um, one of the applicants and the resident agent applicant is not present. So I wanted to get the permission from the commissioners before I proceed forward to so waive their So who's here and who's not here? Mr. Sharma, the 50% uh, owner and the president of the company is here. Which Sharma is that? That's the husband. What's his, what's his first name? It's um, Sunil. Okay, so there are two Mr. Sharmas on my list. That's why I'm asking. The, um, okay. Perry, Perry, my wife, Perry. Yeah, oh, Perry okay. is the wife. All right. Um, and uh, Miss McDougal is the resident Asian licensee. She had to visit Pittsburgh to attend her her mother's hundredth birthday. So we just. We mean had to. What well, sounds to. like a good thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't, you know, in, in it doesn't happen every day. <laughs> yeah, so we couldn't, you know, honestly, we couldn't ask her to stay. She okay, so who go. is this lady back here? Is that? She's the seller. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, and are you here in support or? Uh, okay, well, let's go forward. Go ahead, Mr. Yu, tell us about this. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Sharma, he, um, he will be the primary, and he will be running the business along with his wife and his son, who's 19 years old. Um, Mr. Sharma have, is a person of a good moral character, uh, same with his wife. And Ms. McDougall, who's a, um, a resident in the neighborhood, she lives in the neighborhood, and she is very well qualified. She has no criminal conviction, no serious traffic conviction, and she has been a Baltimore City resident, a taxpayer, registered voter. Uh, Mr. Sharma is um, certified. He went underwent the training, and he passed. And um, is he going to be the primary person managing the alcohol? Yes, sir. And his wife and the son will be uh, trained as well uh, when time comes. 
Okay, and you've told, explained to them our rules and regulations? Yes, we went over it, and also the uh, instructor yes. went over everything. Yes, Mr. Mr. John. And Mr. Hilliard, do you want to tell us anything? Nothing more than what you're looking at, Mr. Chairman. Um, the disestablishment falls between the boundaries of the Beverly Hills Community Improvement Association, and you noted that this um, flight's been in operation at the King River Radiant Parkway for years, and there have been no significant issues. And recently, no issues with the licenses that they own supporting the transfer of ownership. Okay, thank you. Commissioners have questions? No questions. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Yu? Uh, I have a the certificate. Thank you. We'll make these will all be received as evidence. Um, okay. Thank you. On the basis of the materials contained in the application, proffers from counsel, the testimony received, and particularly the support of the Beverly Hills Improvement Association, I would vote to approve the transfer of this license um, requesting delivery of alcoholic beverages. I concur and vote to approve the transfer of this license with delivery of alcoholic beverages. I vote to approve the transfer with the, the delivery of alcoholic beverages. Good luck. Thank Good you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Can I close it for the record? Board no. Exhibit 1, letter of support from Harbell Community Association. Board Exhibit 2, letter of support from Hamilton Main Street, Lauraville. Uh, exhibit number 3, email from Law Office of JU. Epic Exhibit 1, alcohol awareness certification. Thank you. Mahaffey's Pub, 2706 Dillon Street, Class B, Beer, Wine, and Liquor License. Request to add outdoor table service. Please come forward. Good morning. Stephen W. Fogelman on behalf of the licensees. Good morning. Would you folks raise your right hands, please? You swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So this is a request to add outdoor table service. Yes, it is. Thank you. Um, Mahaffey's Pub is... Uh, was transferred to the Kistners uh, last year by this board. They have a long history. They were consistently voted uh, best bar in Baltimore by none other than the Baltimore Sun and other publications. Um, they are pretty well known regionally. Why would I know? <laughs> <laughs> Not too far. <laughs> Not too far. Let me give you their menu. And the menu is key because Thank in you. Canton, the community association. Thank you has guidelines for outdoor your area commission it is but you know <laughs> I don't frequent every place <laughs> <laughs> i mean not that i haven't been in mahaffey's in i'll do candor the only place you go every day is merit right is that it all right i see, <laughs> I, see I didn't know if you would recognize me so I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right this isn't about me but thank you miss kistner <laughs> next time i'll be sure to say hi <laughs> Smaltimore, and speaking of Smaltimore, this place is uh, a block from Liquor Board Larry's apartment, and so certainly he would let you know if there were any problems going on here. So this one is close to home. So how many outdoor uh, tables are we talking about? Six. Four. Four. Just four. Okay. And um, so uh, did it ever have any outdoor? No. Okay. How many um, seats for each table? Okay. Any questions? Uh, none at all. And they, I spoke with uh, Canton Community Association. They're agreeing to adopt the guidelines for outdoor dining. Mm -hmm. so, and, and that uh, specifically means uh, after 10, the tables are cleared, mm -hmm. and that uh, the food be encouraged, that diners be encouraged rather than um, no food. OK. Um, thank you. Then on the basis of the materials contained in the application, proffers from council, the testimony received as well as the exhibit, uh, which I will look at later. Mm -hmm. um, I would vote to approve the addition of the outdoor table service authorization to the license. I concur and vote to approve the addition of outdoor table service. I vote to approve the outdoor table service. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to take oh. it. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. You're welcome. No. So, Mr. Page, um, why don't we hold that case? Uh, that didn't show up and if they come this afternoon we can take it up. We'll reach out to the applicants, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Yep. That's the rest of the morning docket, isn't it? That's correct. The board is in recess until 1 p.m. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Well, 
Then let's go to the afternoon docket. Okay. Good afternoon. Now begins the PM docket of the Board of Liquor License Commissioners for Baltimore City. The board is now in session. If you're in possession of any type of electronic device, please place said device on the off or silent mode during proceedings. Preliminary matters on the PM docket. Case number 52031 East Fairmount Avenue, postponed. Call the case of 340 North Charles Street, Class B, beer, wine, and liquor license, and application to transfer ownership. Please come forward. For the record, Melvin Chaikinensky representing the applicant. Good afternoon. Would you folks raise your right hands, please? Uh, you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. This is um, You can put your hands down. Thank you. This is a um, transfer from the existing restaurant up on, on Charles Street. Actually, it's a few doors up from my office, as a matter of fact. Um, it's a Thai restaurant, and I'm going to saw on the paper. They had the four best Thai restaurants. They weren't on the list. And I don't know why, but they'll be hell to pay. <laughs> um, here's a copy of their menu. Um, I'll refer to her as Amy instead of giving the whole the last name. She um, has been operating in that location without a license um, since March. It's right down from the cathedral. Uh, she previously um, worked in Westminster and a couple other places that had alcohol and never had any problems. She's taken the alcohol awareness course um, and has been certified. It's a small restaurant. It's going to be run um, mainly by um, you know, her brothers here and, and some of the relatives. Um, Dr. Yu Sang Chung, who owns the building, is going to help her also. Um, and and uh, who had this before? Who, who's transferring it? The fellow that was transferring went to, um, uh, I can't, what was his name? Mr. Wong. He went, he went to New York. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So, um. The only reason I point out Dr. Chung, because he's owned the, the building since we've had electricity mm -hmm. and uh, has been trying to get various people in there. And um, uh, it's been a Thai restaurant there probably for the last uh, 15, 20 years. And the other fellow went to New York. Okay. Um, um, and you say that um, the uh, applicant has experience? She had worked in various restaurants in Westminster and, and up on North Calvert Street and had alcohol and never had any problems. Uh, she's going to be assisted by her brother here and the members of the family and Dr. Chung. And the, will the brother and others be certified as well? Yeah, he, they will be. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. There's only three or four people in there right now until they get uh, pumped up. Okay. Do the commissioners have questions? No. No questions. Okay, thank you. Then on the basis of the materials contained in the application, proffers from counsel and testimony as well as the exhibit received, I would vote to approve the transfer. I concur. I vote to approve the transfer. Good luck. Stop up. You tell them they can stop up. I call exhibits for the record. Applicant exhibit one, menu. Applicant exhibit two. I'll call we're in a certification. Bunny's Liquors, two two one seven dash one nine North Fulton Avenue, Class A, beer, wine, and liquor license. An application to transfer ownership. Please come forward. Council. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Commissioners. Uh, my name is Jay Yu, representing the applicants, Mr. Richard and Mr. Richard Jr. and Mrs. Tark. Would you folks raise your right hands, please? You swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Mr. Yu? Yes, um, this is a request for transfer of the Class A license of a package goods store located at 2217 Fulton Avenue. Uh, Ms. Tark will be the 99.5% owner, and Mr. Uh, Anderson Jr. will be the 0.5% uh, owner. Uh, he'll be the resident agent licensee. And is she going to uh, manage and run yes. the operation? Yes. Ms. Tark will be managing it, operating it, owning it, along with um, her husband will be helping her out with the operation. Uh, Mr. Anderson is a Baltimore City resident and uh, registered voter and a taxpayer for the past 25 years. Does uh, Ms. Stark have experience? Um, she does have experience uh, of running, not running, but <coughs> actually working as a cashier, most likely managing the business of a liquor establishment. 
uh, about thirteen years. Thirteen years, yes. And are you certified? Alcohol certified? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes. yes. And besides her, will somebody else be handling alcohol? Uh, her husband. Okay. And is he certified as well, or will he be? He will be. Okay. I believe he is, but he will be. If he's not. Okay. And you've explained our rules to them? Yes, she um, is certified. So I, I also explained to her the rules and regulation, the pertinent parts. Not all of it, but the very important parts. Okay. Um, commissioners? That property, is that on the corner of Pennsylvania Avenue and Bolton Avenue? Yes. I go by that property a lot, and I see a lot of people on that corner. This I think uh, your confused is a red box. Red box is a crowd, is uh, my store is a uh, oh, searching there. Okay. She's I'm not sure I can hear her. What is she she, saying? she thinks that um, maybe you're referring to red fox. Yeah. Okay, that's why I asked, was that the one on the corner? Yeah, it's, n it's not on the corner. It's not then. Yeah. Okay, no questions. Um, so, Ms. Tark's husband is going to help out uh, at the store. He also is a licensee, I, I understand. Young's yes, place? He, um, that business has been closed down. Oh, it's closed. So yes, that license is pending transfer, I believe. Mr. Kodansky is working on that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so but do you, are you aware of any issues that he's had running Young's place? Um, I believe uh, there was one violation uh, of um, not operating tavern. Okay, B7? Yes, okay. Yeah, but um, the landlord has uh, decided not to give them the lease anymore because they decided to transfer the license out of it, so. Okay, thank you. Anything further, Mr. Yu? No. Thank okay, you. thank you. On the basis of the materials contained in the application, Proffers from counsel and testimony received, I'd vote to approve the transfer. I vote also to approve the transfer. Uh, I concur and vote to approve the transfer. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. No exhibits. See you. <coughs> Freddy's Ale House, 7209 Harford Road, Class B, Beer, Wine, and Liquor License. An application to transfer ownership requesting off premise catering. Please come forward. For the record, Melvin J. Kanansky representing the applicant. Good afternoon. Would all the folks uh, please raise their right hands, please? And you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. This is a uh, transfer of an existing license on Hartford Road. Um, Ms. Shah has had. Um, uh, liquor license in Howard County for um, over five or six years uh, earlier never had any problems and she works uh, up until now in Baltimore County and was it Mike McEl McElroy's McElroy's and um, also has a liquor license has, has no problems she's taken uh, the alcohol awareness course and have been certified as well as been fingerprinted um, they're going to have the same hours of operation uh, that they did and as set out in the an agreement with the um, neighborhood um, this is her son here. He's going to help out. Uh, as he gets more involved, we're going to have him certified also. And uh, lastly, but not, not importantly, but <laughs> most importantly, um, this is an agreement that was entered into. Um, we have a copy. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Well, we'll I'll give it back to you, but let me just. Okay. Uh, yeah, between the, uh, the parties, and you signed this agreement. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And you understand the terms, and you know that's going to be made part of the transfer. Yes. Okay. And you, you're, you're okay with this? Yes. Okay. My name's Lisa Daniels, and I'm the past president of the North Hartford Road Community Association. And the association would ask that the, um, that the agreement be attached to the license, please. Okay. What's the matter? That's a correction. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hilliard, did you have something to add? Nothing. Nothing to Okay. Just about copies. Uh, yes. I'm going to give this back to you because we have one for the record. Um, any questions, Commissioner? Okay, thank you. Then, uh, on the basis of the materials contained in the application, Mr. Kadensky's proffers, the testimony, and the exhibits received, including the agreement uh, between the applicants and the um, community association, um, I would vote to approve the transfer requesting off premise catering subject to the terms of the agreement to the extent they're enforceable by law. I concur. I vote to approve the transfer with off-premise catering subject to the terms of the MOU <coughs> to the extent they're enforceable by law. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm going to call for the record. Board of Civic 1, MOU between applicants and North Hartford Road Community Association. Applicants Exhibit 1, Alcohol Awareness, awareness Certification. Thank you. Eddie's Liquors, 3109 St. Paul Street, Class A, Beer, Wine, and Liquor License, an application to transfer ownership requesting off-premise catering. Please come forward. For the record, Melvin J. Kanetsky representing the applicants in this case. Good afternoon, and would you folks raise your right hands, please? How do you swear or affirm the testimony that you are about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. This is a transfer of an existing license uh, at that area. Um, they have met, um, she's with a plethora of people, so I know with Mary Pat Cork, you know, every once in a while that she comes over on the dark side, I always say, and um, they had sent a letter. I don't know if you got the letter or I have it here. Apparently we do. See the same one I have. <coughs> she had two of them, one. Good and one bad. She just. <laughs> Thank you. And then there's a. Um, you have the other one, Stace, from the City Strong, Strong City. So while we look at these, tell us a little bit about the applicants. The applicants have had um, a prior experience. One of them has been in, uh, involved uh, in, in, with liquor stores, never had any problems. One of the um, uh, issues in, uh, that we're setting up with the um, community is that they uh, promised to keep uh, all the same employees that they seem to have gotten along with, and they're very happy that they're going to um, keep uh, the same people that were there. Um, they are retaining the current staff. Um, they've been um, fingerprinted and alcohol certified. I'll bring this over. And the hours of operation is indicated. Um, they agreed not to open before uh, 10 a.m. Uh, until 6 uh, p.m. midnight. Okay. Um, and you say, uh, who's going to be running the? The, the two of them. Yeah, one. one. Can you identify their names? Okay. Uh, Kamaljit Rana. Manjit Singh. Okay. And is, are you Ms. Bell? Yes. Okay. Yes. She's the resident? She is the resident now. She, she gets to pop in the store once in a while. Yeah, I'll probably be going in like two, a couple hours each day. Okay. Um, commissioners have questions? No. Experience of the applicants? Yes, sir. I have a, a current, current I'm a Kamaljit Rana working at a Southwest Discount Liquor from past eight months. But I've been uh, with CVS and Walgreens as an assistant manager and store manager. The Walgreens I used to work at, they used to have a liquor store in it in Florida, not in the state of Maryland. Thank you. Plus, they're going to keep the same staff that's there. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Then, on the basis of the materials contained in the application, um, the proffers from council, testimony received in all the exhibits, including the approval uh, in writing from Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark and the uh, letter from uh, Strong City, Baltimore, <coughs> impose certain conditions on the uh, hours of operation and the staff that will be. Um, working in the liquor store, I would vote subject to all those restrictions to approve the transfer uh, of the license uh, requesting off-premise catering. I concur. I concur with the chairman with transfer of ownership with off-premise catering with the, um, with the uh, uh, provisions that are contained in the agreement and the letter from Mary Pat Clark. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Thank you. I call this for the record. Board is it one, love support from Councilwoman Murray Pat Clark. What is it two, email support from Strong City Baltimore. Applicant exhibit one, alcohol awareness certification and um, background check. Where's everybody else? Okay, we can go back and do that. Mr. Chairman, Commission is going to recall the case on the AM docket, <coughs> case number four, flight 
5721-23 York Road, Class B, Beer, Wine, and Liquor License, an application to transfer ownership with continuation of outdoor table service, requesting off-premise catering, and delivery of alcoholic beverages. Please come forward. Raise your right hand, sir, please. I do. Are you Mr. Raymond Davis, sir? I am Raymond Davis. All right. Good afternoon. Good morning. So you want to tell us about um, this uh, operation? Um, so we're Flight Restaurant. We've been in operation. I've been uh, the operator for five years. Um, we're in the process of buying the building and transferring the liquor license. Um, the current owner is here. Um, is that the gentleman behind you? That's the gentleman behind and me. And what is his name? Mohammed Azadi. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, we're requesting transfer with additional um, uh, outdoor table service, uh, alcohol delivery, and uh, off-premise catering um, to continue operations. Um, I have my alcohol awareness certificate here. Um, you guys can see that. I do apologize. I don't have. Uh, we just make note of it, and we'll give it back to you. But okay. Uh, I don't have the other uh, documents with me, but we do have support from uh, Senator Mary Washington, Councilman Henry, and the Neighborhood Association. I don't have those letters with me because I just learned of this hearing an hour ago. Which, um, so um, I just rushed which Neighborhood down. Association? Uh, your Pro Partnership. Okay. So we have support from all of those. And do you, are you aware that one of the neighbors has written, a resident from Campbell Lane has written in opposition? I was not aware Have of you that. seen this? I was not aware of that. I don't know if they're a member of the association or not. Are you familiar with that person? Um, I don't see a name or an address. There's no name? There's no name or no address here. Well, in that case, you can ignore it. No, anonymous letters aren't doing us any good. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so you say you've been operating the place for the last five years? Yes, sir. Uh, working for this gentleman. Is that correct? Okay. Yes, working with. Uh -huh. And um, how many people are going to be working there? Uh, we have about 20 people on staff. And how many of them handle alcohol? Uh, about 10 of those handle alcohol. And they all certify? Um, not all of them, but most of them. And the rest will get certified. We have a lot of new employees because we're transferring, we have, we just hired new people coming in because we have a lot of the old people going back to school. Okay, and you yourself are familiar with our rules and regulations? Yes, I am. And during the five years that you've operated, have you had any violations? We have not had any violations. Um, uh, several times we've actually had uh, cadets come in and which, which we refuse service to. And you got letters from We have the letters from them. I believe we have three of those. Okay, and when the York Road Partnership approved this, did they impose any restrictions or anything on you? No, we don't have any restrictions. We do have a current MOU with them. Okay. So there's no restrictions. Okay. Commissioners. Mr. Warren Conrad. Yes, sir. That corner of Camel Lane and York Road, there's a school. Yes. This would be we do, we do, we operate with, we, we work with the school as well, and we do a lot of things with them. We do, uh, I believe, two fundraisers a year with them to help the school, we work with the students. I'm actually in the school myself, working with them. Can you speak to the nature of your outdoor table service? How many tables? So we want to put uh, four tables out front um, and probably four tables in the back um, just to provide the service that the community's been asking for. So it's been a, something the community has asked for to have some outdoor tables? Yes. Service. What kind of restaurant is it? It's American. We serve everything from crab cakes, burgers, sandwiches. Okay. You do the cooking? I do. <laughs> Me and my son. That's a clientele, young to age wise. So it's, it's, we operate on an older clientele. Um, we don't really uh, cater to, there's a lot of colleges around us, but we don't cater towards the college crowd because they tend to be a little bit more rowdy. So we have <coughs> a bigger neighborhood clientele. So Commissioner Jones and I could get in there. Any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> um, so I'm just curious. This has nothing to do with your application. What happened with the notice of this hearing? Um, I just didn't receive it. Okay. Somebody else sign off for it or something? It's my signature. It's mail. Oh, uh, it was mail. Okay. All right. Well, be check your mail for anything comes from our board I was in the future. In the office on Charles Street on Tuesday, talking to Miss Branch, and she said it wasn't scheduled. Oh. 
Oh, sorry, I'll help you. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got it done. Okay. So, um, anything further? No, I'm good. Nothing. All right. Thank you. On the basis then of the materials contained in the application, the um, testimony received, the exhibits that have been received, um, and I, are you? You say you have a memorandum of understanding with York Road Partnership. So, is your license going to be subject to the terms of that memorandum? There's of no terms. It's okay. just okay. The approval of what we're doing. Okay. We work with the neighborhood. We actually host some of the neighborhood meetings. Okay. I vote to approve the transfer of the license with continuation of outdoor table service, off-premise catering, and delivery of alcoholic beverages. I concur. Yeah, I too vote to approve the transfer of ownership with outdoor table service, off-premise catering, and delivery of alcoholic beverages. Good luck. Good luck. You. you want this back? Yes, please. And I'll see you down here, Mr. Davis. Thank you. Can I call Zibis for the record? Board of one, letter of opposition from neighbor. I just want to move to number seven, Mr. Chairman, to the request for postponement. Okay. You want to call? Right. Are you ready, Bryson? Yeah. Okay. Alessandro Dos, 3821-23, Eastern Avenue, Class BD7, Beer, Wine, and Liquor License, an application to transfer ownership and location of a class BD7 beer, wine, and liquor license presently located at 4901 Pennington Avenue to 3821 23 Eastern Avenue. Please come forward. For the record, Melvin J. Kudensky, um, I have to ask for a postponement or continuance. It was brought to my attention by Mr. Ackers that there may be, there's a, may be a problem with the ward and, and precinct that this is in, uh, and it's not unusual in Hollandtown. There's nothing unusual in Hollandtown. Uh, but on the even side of the street is a it's like the ninth precinct. This side of the street's the tenth or eleventh, and which is not going to be available for this. So in this, I would ask for the board uh, postponement continuance so they could uh, try to find a possible another location. Okay, commissioners, have any questions? No, no questions. I would uh, grant the uh, request for continuance. Thank you. Okay, thank you. No exhibits. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, Stephen W. Fogelman, on behalf of the applicant, Ebony Gill. Let's call the case, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sure. Ganey's Wine and Spirits, 601 North Cary Street, Class A, Beer, Wine, and Liquor License, an application to transfer ownership, request and delivery of alcoholic beverages. Um, one second, Mr. Chair. 601 South Car North Cary. <laughs> All right. Timing is everything. Stephen W. Fogelman on behalf of applicant Ebony Gill. Uh, would you raise your right hand, please, ma'am? I swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yeah. Mr. Fogelman. Thank you. Miss um, Gill uh, has purchased uh, the real estate at 601 North Cary Street. I believe it's a um, liquor store, and then there's a barber shop and two residential units or more. Can you turn that mic to you? Thank you. It's, it consists of four residential units and um, three commercial. And Ms. Uh, Gill intends to operate the Class A uh, business at that location. Uh, she has uh, worked as a security officer. She has uh, owned her own business for the last 12 years, jack of all trades, contractual services, doing commercial and residential cleaning. She has management experience, um, not much in the way of alcohol management experience, but she's um, understands the responsibilities that she has as a licensee and she's scheduled to be uh, certified in alcohol management. Okay. Um, and so this could be a drugstore primarily? It's a liquor store. Oh, it's a liquor store, okay. Are there, are there prescriptions and other me medicines sold there? Not currently, no. Okay. Historically, yeah. they were drugstores and uh, well even during Prohibition, that's the only place you could get liquor. <laughs> that, that's before this board's time. I was just, that's what the zoning permit is for. Right. Okay. Uh, commissioners have questions? No question. Oh. Are you going to be the only one uh, handling the alcohol? Um, no, it'll be employees. And will you get them certified as well? Sure. Okay. Just one comment. I get my hat cut in that uh, block in that location. 
Okay. You know. Maybe you should come to my hair spot at that location. I'm good where I am, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good where I am, but I just know. want you to know. Mr. Jones, if I had to choose between your hair and her. <laughs> I know, but mine's is five minutes cut. That's it. <laughs> About five, six hours. But he's going to be there. He's going to be keeping an eye on the place. So That's get great. To know I him. appreciate yeah. it. That's okay. my neighborhood. All right, thank you. On the basis then of the materials containing the application, the proffers from council, and the testimony received, I vote to approve the transfer of the license with delivery of alcoholic beverages. I concur. I vote to approve the transfer with the, <coughs> the delivery of alcoholic beverages. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. No exhibits. Is that our docket, Mr. Page? That's correct, Mr. Chairman. The board is in recess until 11 a.m. Thursday, August the 8th. 2019. We're I want to note for the record that when uh, Commissioner Jones is here, it moves much more quickly. <laughs> because I know the words, I concur. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.